we're basically talking about uh, the component of Venn diagrams. There was this chap called John Venn, okay, uh, and, and he was the person. And uh, uh, Venn diagram tests your ability to think logically and uh, you know, a jointed and disjointed manner. And we were basically trying to understand how to draw a Venn diagram for four elements, okay. So I've tried drawing it over here, but that doesn't seem to be right. So let me try it once more. I'm very bad at drawing though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something like this. And with this. Okay. And you'll have something like this. Yeah. yeah. So this is how your this is how you are. Uh, um, I mean, please uh, do check the open source with as well once. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Please do check uh, once the open sources as well. But essentially, just this is how it will look like, wherein you can represent all the four elements. Okay, all the four elements. Let's say those are A, B, C, and D. You can you can represent A alone, B alone, C alone, D alone, or A, B, or B, C, or C, D. I mean, taking two at a time, any one of them, or taking any three of uh, a C D A B D K A B C taking three at a time. All this you can represent, and all four of them also you can represent A B C D. K. So that's it. You got to uh, know in a Venn diagram. You have never been asked a four by four Venn diagram as such. Only with two elements, three elements will work out for you. But knowing a four uh, element Venn diagram, uh, you know, uh, it, it can sort of boost your knowledge. Okay, so it's a good thing to know, right? And uh, going ahead with five elements and things and all, uh, it really gets really, really clumsy. So we'll stop our exploration with just four elements. And with this, we'll move to the questions, right, guys? So we got like time up till. 7.30 from now, one and a half hours, and we don't have much of a question over here, guys. So our aim is to finish off this PPT. Yeah, over to you. What do you think should be the answer over here? You got to plot a Venn diagram, relation between father, man, and pilot. Yeah. Me too, sir. Exactly. Me too. Anybody would like to contest this option? You see how lucky you chaps in the morning you have come across a word called pilot. I'll pray to the God that some of you are lucky enough to be one. Okay. Yeah. Yes, nice. Yes, guys. Yes, Harita. Can you please come front and tell to the class what did you think? What was your logic behind choosing two as your option? Yes, sir. Uh, pilot can be both uh, both men and women. Yes. So it is uh, separately in a circle. And may, father comes inside the men. And any father can also be a pilot. So it is option two, I think, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Guys. Guys, anybody have any doubt with this Venn diagram? Guys? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, Shakti Shri. Shakti Shri. Very good yes, morning. Yes, what, do you, what do you think about this Venn diagram? Okay, what do you think about this Venn diagram? 
what should be the answer ring with diamond ring and ornaments hmm Okay, I'll narrow down it for you. It's either two or four. I chalk this by this chalk this one. Four, yes. sir. Yeah. Why do you think four is the answer that you see? Sir, th the three of them are commonly known as jewelry, sir. Yes. The two of them are commonly known as jewelry. And a ring can be any ring. It can be aluminum ring, it can be a brass ring, it can be a gold ring, it can be a silver ring, it can be a platinum ring, and the other one is a diamond ring in itself. And both of these two are ornaments. Right, Shaktasi? Thank you so much. Sir, I'm having a doubt, sir. Yes, Shruti. So, anyway, the diamond ring will come under a ring, right, sir? Yep, uh, you have a, yes, in that case, yeah. So in that case, yes, uh, ornaments, ornaments, okay. And the ring and diamond ring, yep, you are right, Shruti. We should go ahead with three as the option. We had this assumption in our mind, and this premises is not given to us. We are reading this ring as, you know, different kind of ring. Yeah. Though this premises was not given to us. Yeah. So apologies for this mistake, guys. Uh, uh, I'd like to change this answer. Okay, Shakti Shiv. What do you think about it? Shall we change it or shall we keep, shall we go ahead with uh, option four? No, sir, we can change it, sir. Actually, I told uh, three, sir, yeah. but you said that one and three will not come. So only yeah, I said yeah, four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my mistake. My apologies for that. Sorry about that. Yeah. I, I, I assume it as, you know, some other ring. I mean, a ring which is of equivalent to this, and though this premises was not there, okay? I should have read it carefully. That guys, so third is your answer. Shall we move? Yes. Thank you. Yes, what do you think about this? Oak, maple, furniture. See, we should start animating in that case if it gets little dicey. Oak and maple. Maple is a tree and it's a national tree. For which country? Canada. Okay. You see that they have all that. Let me show you it in Google itself. It's a very beautiful looking leaf. Okay, this is the maple leaf. Okay. And let me also show you something else. Maple blossom as well. Just check a little bit of images. It gets me in there, but then uh, the view is really good when, when it really blossoms. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. It looks really pretty. Okay. And both of these things, coming back to our question, both of these oak, oak and maple are used for your timber and furniture purposes. Okay. So, I'm sure oak and maple both are related to furniture. Okay. 
So this cannot be the answer, right? What do you guys think should be the answer? If this is furniture, it can be oak and it can be maple. Right. <laughs> Two, three, four, all three can work out. Okay. Furniture. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So maple is also used for furniture and oak is damn sure it is used for furniture. I'm, I'm damn sure about that. So one is definitely not your answer. We still have to narrow down to three of these. Which one should we go ahead with in that case? <laughs> Two also works pretty much fine. Three cannot be the answer because neither all furnitures are oak or maple or not all oak or maple are furnitures, right? So three should not be there. One should also not be there. So the option should narrow down to two and four. Let's try and evaluate between here. Yeah, in four, we cannot put maple and oak. Oak and maple, these two will be completely disjointed, right? There will be no relationship between map, maple and, and oak, right? So, but over here, there is a relationship between all three of them. As far as we are talking about the furniture and oak, let's say it is F and O, Let's say it is F, furniture, and maple. We are good to go, but we cannot say that furniture, maple, and oak because there is no relationship between oak and oak. Right, guys? Did we get a breakthrough? So, with this logic, we'll chuck out this option as well and go ahead with option number two. Anybody, any doubt, guys? Yes. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Birds, pigeons, dogs. Birds. Option? Four, sir. Yep. Four, sir. Undisputed answer. Right. Shall we move? We we'll probably have discussion when, when we have some you know, disputed answer. Shall we move, guys? Let's move quickly and finish it off. Now, let's finish it off by seven itself. Yeah. I haven't solved this before coming over here. Because I wanted to discuss rather than you know solving it and then doling out some something that has already been solved and not. So, so I'm as vulnerable as you guys are. Yeah. I can be judged. Yeah. And I can be, you know, constituted as a bad teacher for not being able to teach the students properly. Okay. But then yeah, I will take this risk because that's where the thrill lies. Okay. Probably that's why you guys want to become a pilot as well. So yeah, coming back to this question. The number of people who have extra fingers, so the extra fingers. The rectangle, people having blue eyes. 
even though it looks like a square, we'll assume it has a rectangle. The triangle represents people having extra fingers. So extra fingers. People having dimples. Okay. The number of people who have extra fingers and blue eyes. Extra fingers and blue eyes. And no dimples is a Yes, more and welcome back, Barry. And if the number of people who have extra fingers and dimples, extra fingers and dimples, and no blue eyes is B, what is the sum of A and B? Did we solve this question the other day? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is the answer, guys? I Shall we move? Can I just keep solving questions with me? Okay. And uh, look, guys, honestly, I'm telling you, when I look at your uh, reports, your mock test marks, out of 30, least you guys would get 28 correct ones. Okay, correct ones. I'm not saying attempt. Attempt should not be less than 30 out of 30. I mean, if these questions, if, we, if these questions cannot be done or cast in marks, um, then uh, we'll have to rethink about uh, our preparation as such, okay? The only thing is that you will have in the examination, especially in this mock examination, you guys just take it so lightly. You think that, oh, come on, it's just a mock test. Come on, I just finish it off in just 15 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, without even reading the questions, right? Don't do this crap, okay? Because when you do it slowly, 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 it kind of built a habit in your mind. So even on the D-Day, you will not feel like reading the questions. You will feel very lazy, okay? Yes, guys. Birds, pigeon, dogs, we already solved it. Let's solve 6970. Earth, sea, sun. Yeah, this is a good one. Option A, sir. Option A. Option A, sir. Okay, for 69, you are saying option A. Yes, sir. Okay. The best relationship between earth, sea, and sun. Okay. Hmm. Because sea is inside earth. That's that with that logic you guys have chosen this, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. And not with this logic that earth is land. Earth is land. Okay. So earth is the entire globe, basically. Okay. So in the earth itself, you have your sea. This is your earth, and then you have your sun, right? So that is why it is not the case that these three are completely disjointed. And since we do not have a relationship between earth and sun, this also cannot happen, and this one also cannot happen, okay? Yep, guys, 70. Okay, football, cricket. Option B, sir. Option B, sir. Yes, absolutely. Any doubt? Do any one of you want me to tell why is it option B? All three are games. Three are different games, right? Cool. Guys. 
the Venn diagram, the only concept is that this is the universal set. That means in this universal set, everything, the entire universe is there in this universal set. Okay. And whatever we are elements we are working with, those are called the subset. Okay. And these elements are all these pigeon, words, dogs, earth, sea, sun, hockey, football, cricket, and whatever they are giving, right? And by these intersections and by these figures, we conclude, we try to infer or decipher the relationship amongst them. Right, guys? Shall we move? Shall we move? Things will get interesting now. Shall we move, guys? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Judge thieves criminals. Sir, so option B. B. Yep, that's correct. B, the biggest set, the entire subset is for the criminals. It's represented as C. And then you have thieves. Majority of them will be thieves. A few of them over here, let's say they're robbers. Let's say over here, they're what? There are some. Murderers, okay, murderers, or something like that. Some other other crimes, some other crimes, right? Some other crimes. The judge is a separate one because judge is not a criminal, and he or she will be required to dole out their sentences to the criminals or, in more particularly, the thieves. Right? T H I E V E S. Sorry about that, yeah. 67. Option D, sir. Option yeah, D, sir. absolutely. World, India, Haryana. Haryana, India, world. Right, guys? <coughs> Sorry. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. Yes. Let's read the question. It's time to do question number 56. Even if they say fish flies in air, Okay, which is an absurd statement. You have to assume it to be correct. Okay. So these types of questions have stopped coming. So every single option A, B, C, D, for that you need to draw a Venn diagram so as to decipher it, okay? In A, what are the elements? Birds? Yes, sir. What is that, Manat? What did you say, Vari? Option B, sir. Okay, option B, we evaluate that, okay? So this is B, air, and trees. Okay. Birds fly in the air. Trees are birds. Therefore, trees fly in the air. Okay, yeah. Birds fly in the air. Okay. So basically, bird flies in the air and trees are birds. 
therefore, which implies trees fly in the air. Yeah, no matter how idiotic this statement is, as per the given two premises, it's correct. Some boys steal. All who steal are naughty. Okay. So we have a few more elements over here. All who steal are naughty. Okay. So this is a subset. This is a set for stealing. This is the all who steal. Are not okay. Did I draw it correctly, guys? All naughty are honest. All naughty are honest. We could either draw it something like this or something like this. And I think this word not. Let's think about this one. This is, these are the only challenging ones in the entire PPT. Yeah. So we have concluded that the first one is correct. <clears throat> yes, guys, one moment. The answer is option D, sir. Yes, sir. Option D. Somebody saying option D as well. We'll evaluate that. Okay. A evaluated, it's correct. Okay. B and D, we, we have all done. No doubt. Okay. So, okay. B and D are the disputed ones. All girls like dance. Some girls are Indians. Okay. All girls like dance. All girls like dance. Okay. Right. This is their relationship with girls and dancing. Okay. All girls like dance. Some girls are Indians. So some of the girls, let's say Indian, okay, some of the girl and Indian. And all of these girls like dance. Okay, so this is your dance. This is your Indian. All Indians are artists. All Indians are artists. Yeah. Therefore, some artists like dance. Yes, that is correct. Some artists like dance. All girls like dance. Okay, all girls like dance. So dance is here. All girls, girls are here. Dance is over here. Some girls are Indian. Some girls are Indian. Okay, some girls are Indian. One moment, guys. All girls like dance. Okay, so all girls. So if this is a dance, this, is, this will be our girls. Okay, all girls like dance. This is how it will be represented. Some girls are Indians. Okay, since some girls are Indian, but all the girls like the dance. Okay, so this will be an Indian one. Okay, but it will be inside the D only because they will eventually like dance. All Indians are artists. All Indians are artists. So it will be somewhere here. Yeah. So hence, therefore, some artists like dance. Yes, some artists will like dance because if we think it in a backward way, all, all girls like dance. Okay. Some girls are Indians and all Indians are artists. Okay. All Indians are artists. Okay. So many of the artists are Indians and many of the Indian artists are girls. Many of the Indian girls artists like dance. Right. Just reversing it. Okay. Many or some. Okay. Had there been all then it would have been a wrong statement. Right, guys? So we are done with uh, C as well. We have proved that A 
and see our correct statement. Now we have this doubt with B and D. All liars are not thieves. Okay. All liars are not thieves. All thieves are criminals. Therefore, all liars are criminals. Okay, one moment. All liars are not thieves. Okay. So these are all liars. Let's say these are our liars. And these are your thieves. Okay. This is what it means. Liars and thieves. All liars are not thieves. Some of the liars can be thieves. Yeah, this intersection. All thieves are criminals. All thieves are criminals. Like this. Therefore, all liars are criminals. No. All, li all, all liars are not criminal. This part is not criminal. Okay. Right. So, your D, D is the one which should be your answer. But before concluding that, yeah, D is the answer. But we'll also have to decide as to why we have only proved A and C as your correct options, but we'll also be proving why B is the correct option. Okay. Some boys steal. Okay, some boys steal. This is the boys and this is the stealing. Okay. Boys stealing. Some boys steal, some boys don't steal. All who steal are naughty. All who steal are naughty. So this is naughty. Okay. All naughty are honest. All naughty are honest. All naughty are honest. Therefore, some boys are honest. Some boys are honest. Yes, some boys are honest. Absolutely, some boys are honest. Right, guys? So B is also your correct. Right, guys? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Your question number 57 and 58 will be your homework. Okay. Or we'll revisit this if by any chance we have the time to visit it. Okay. Right. Any problem, guys? Or otherwise, we have similar type of questions as we go ahead. We'll solve it from there and we will revisit it. Okay. We'll just try to do the easier sums first. Right. Nowadays, they have dropped these kinds of statement type of questions. Right, guys? So, do not worry much about it. Okay? Yes. All 68, yeah. All fathers. Are male and all male are human being. Right. Which one should be the answer? C. Okay. Anybody who is not following me? Guys, anybody who is having any problem in following, in understanding what exactly is happening over there, what Greek, what all these concentric circles do we mean by? Guys. All clear? If you don't say anything to me, I'll assume it to be all clear from your side. Okay, cool. Yes, 69, guys. I mean, the next question. Yes, sir. A, e, okay. One moment. Steel, wood, and building material. Okay, steel, wood, and building material. Hmm. So both your steel and wood are building materials. This is your building material. This is your steel and this is your wood. Right, guys? Steel and wood are not by any chance. They are not, uh, you know, jointed. Okay, they'll be disjointed for sure. 
we are checking out option D because not all steel or not all wood will be the building materials over here. Okay, there will be some sort of, uh, you know, even if it is there, then there will be some sort of intersection. Okay, B is damn sure won't be the answer because building material will have at least one relationship with, with, with at least, you know, uh, steel and wood, both of them, right? Since steel and wood won't have any relationship between them, then C will also get checked out. Right, guys? Right? Now, I'm just thinking, why should we check out D? Uh, I need a concrete reason to check out D. Sir, here, because that uh, wood is connected with uh, both the circles. Like, if we assume that the last, the third one says wood, yep. like it is uh, interacted with steel also, sir. Yes, absolutely. So since steel and wood are not connected, there has to be a separation between these two elements, which is essentially being represented only in option number A. Thank you so much, Hatha. Yeah. Yes, guys. Next question. Option D. Apart from Harita. Krishi, you are getting it? Yes, sir. Jesus, Chenni, Krem, Tishri. Yes, sir. Are you all getting it? Yes, sir. Yes. So let's do this question number 70. Relation between doctors, teachers, and engineers. These are all professions, and these are all separate professions, right? Anybody who would like to contest D as an option? Sir, yes. sir option B is not applicable, sir. A teacher can also be a doctor, and teacher also can be an engineer. Mm. Is that right? I mean, I mean, technically, yes, a teacher will be professor and they'll be essentially teaching, you know, engineers and doctors, both of them in their own field. But yes. uh, we are essentially thinking these three as uh, three separate professors. Okay. okay. Sorry, profession. Yeah. So by that logic, essentially, yes, I get your logic that somebody who is a PhD in medicine, okay, that person will be a professor and they'll be teaching some department, some XYZ department in the hospital. He will also a technically a teacher. Okay. Somebody a PhD in mechanical engineering. Okay. So this chap will also be teaching the engineers. Okay. Because somebody from B tech or M tech have to be taught by someone, right? Mm -hmm. Some professor. Yeah. That logic is correct, but we'll just keep it simple with with the thought that these doctors, teachers, and engineers represent three different and separate professions. Okay. So if there is uh, option D is not present, then we will move to option B as well. Yes, but option D is there. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. Thank you. Okay. But uh, but in option B, like. Uh... All the three should be interconnected, sir, but they're only that two and two, like it is interconnected. The first circle and the last one is not interconnected. Yes, it doesn't so need we to. We can't be an answer, sir. It doesn't need to be, no. The middle one is teacher, and this one is either doctor or engineer, whichever you want to take. And likewise, okay, let's say this one is the doctor, and this one is the engineer. Only teacher needs to be connected to both D and D, right? Yes, sir. Assuming that, you know, uh, the high highest levels of the doctor, okay, from here, this doctor, this doctor will teach some lower level of doctors, higher level of engineers, they will teach the, the, this, uh, this level of engineers, right? Okay. Yes. Essentially, this chap will, will be an engineer plus a teacher, this chap will be a doctor plus a teacher, right? Okay, this is how practically it happens. But, just to solve this question, we'll think it in a more conventional way. 
you know, as uh, we, we'll try to match the thought process of the people that have said these questions, right? Okay. Had I been your in your position, uh, I would have, <laughs> I would have, uh, you know, thought of changing my answer. Okay, but we cannot do that. We'll have to keep up with the thought process of uh, uh, the people. Those who have said the question, people, right? Okay. Shall we move, guys? Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. Yes, Trishi, this is for you. Cloth, color, and merchant. Yeah, open for the floor. Open for the floor, guys. So, option D. And why do you think so? So there's a relation between much and the cloth, sir. Whereas color is not having any relation between much and the cloth. Why 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 don't you think a cloth will not have any color? There's option E, correct, sir. Sorry, option B. Option C, sir. U, B, and C. Anybody with D? That's fine with the D. Ooh. Yes, let's think it in that way. Cloth will have a color, right? This is cloth. This will be having a color. Okay. Cloth will have a color. That means there will be some relation for sure. Right. Right now. I mean, any cloth, it will have a color. No. Or all clothes will have a color. Maybe we can think it in that perspective as well. Because all cloth has color. Okay. So cloth, color, merchant. And the merchant, the relationship between merchant and cloth. It can be this way, that all clothes are being dealt by merchant. Okay. See, that is where, that is where you know, a few of the questions, a few of the AFCAT questions becomes dicey. And that is where you need to, we need to keep up with the thought process of the people, those who have set this question paper. And we don't know with what thought process he had set this question paper, right? And this is where we have something called benefit of doubt, okay? Right, guys? So if you want to think it in terms of that, okay, cloth, color, and merchant are not relatable by any chance, then you will go ahead and tick C. Okay. If you think that some way this is the cloth, cloth will have some color, or some cloth will be completely colorless, that can also be the case, until or unless you dye the cloth. It will not have any color, right? And clothes can be dealt by merchants. It, merchants can also deal with color specifically. You know, people in villages, they come and sell indigo. You know, does it happen? I mean, in, in, in very rural areas, uh, they'll be carrying a uh, blue color indigo uh, you know, on their bicycle or whatever vehicle they come up with. So merchant can also be drawn over here. Okay, cloth is here, color is here. 
merchant can deal with either clothes or color, both of them. Okay, so if we put it over here, it can be cloth over here because merchant is dealing with both color, both cloth and color, right? Right, guys. I think the only D, Rajesh, you said D. With what logic you said D? Sorry, sir. I won't think of the relation between merchant and color. So, I mean, yeah. Not color, so. yeah. I won't there's, think. A relation, there's a relationship between cloth and color and the color and merchant, merchant and cloth, all of them. Okay. There is some relation. So in that case, if I were to choose an option, okay, I would I would not have chosen D. Okay. And since we thought that we there is some relation, okay. Unless it is as clear as like cricket, football, volleyball, basketball, we should not go ahead with this option as well. Okay. We should establish some relation. Okay. A cloth will have color, some clothes will also be colorless. Okay. And a cloth is being dealt by merchants. Some cloth might not be dealt by merchants. Right. Right. Some clothes will be dealt by just shopkeepers. Right. And merchants can also deal with color. So in my opinion, in my opinion, if I were in your position, I would have picked A and yeah. With some 80 to 90 percent surety, okay, not 100 percent. Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, like uh, we should be represent as color as paint, sir, in, in, to relate with the merchant. It is color, so I think merchant and color is not related. If it is paint, we can say like merchant and paint is like he will sell paints, but is it okay that to say that he sells color or deal with colors, sir? Yep, you have nice logic. You have a very valid logic. Yep. Okay. So I think like B answer, like middle circle is clothes. So one will be merchant, like uh, we cannot say all the merchants are related with clothes, and another will be colors, like some some are colored clothes. But still, in that case, merchants will be related to the color as well, right? Middle circle as clothes and left circle as merchant and right as colors. Yep, you got the breakthrough. Yep. That looks that sounds much more convincing. Yep. So guys look, what is Arita saying is that if we are if we are taking this one as clothes so clothes will be, will be having some color and this is the merchant you are right okay guys yes harita can can you please tell to the class what was your logic how did you think about it what 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 did you think about it yeah sir in tamil yeah yeah your choice yeah whichever way you are comfortable yeah Okay. In the question, the cloth, color, and merchant are related to the merchant. If you relate to the merchant, you can color to the color. So, if you have a color, you can paint the color. So, if you have a color, the merchant is nowhere related. Cloths are assumed that some cloths will be colored. That is, colored cloths are uncolored. And merchants. LRM and the cloth business the Pamongan Solomaria. Like some of the merchants doing cloth business. So I think option B is correct. Yes, guys. So this way we'll go, we can go with option B as well. And, uh, you know, the logic put in by Harita uh, was much more convincing than any other logic. Okay. So B seems to be the right answer. Guys, clear? Shall we move? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes, Baris, come on. Next question. 
atoms, electrons, and neutrons. Please, Yes. Yes, absolutely. See, there won't be any interaction between electron and neutron, no intersection. Okay, an atom is a complete whole. Cool, guys. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Dividend, profit, and bonus. Yes, guys, what do you think? Dividend is what? Let's try and understand. Okay, there's two chaps called Ram and Sham. They worked out in a business. With uh, in in sixty forty ratio, let's say sixty rupees forty rupees they invested. Okay, they got ten rupees of profit. Okay, in that the Ram share will be six and Sham share will be four. This is their dividend. Okay, dividend is a part of profit. This is the profit. This is the profit and dividend is here. Obviously, dividend will be inside profit. Okay. So, with this logic, B and D, we can check out. Right. And now the bonus. Bonus, those of you are working. Okay. When the company is booming okay their revenues are increasing their profits are also increasing okay then only their dividend consequently is also increasing so it it is generally mostly a function of company's performance as well as your performance as well right guys Right. Or shall we do bonus is completely different from what the profit is. Sir, is bonus and profit are relatable, sir. Bonus and profit, uh, if you think it in this way, wherein your bonus is dependent of is dependent on profit, which is in practical situation. So that's why we have done this intersection, you know, two circles and then this intersection like this. Okay. But if you want to think it in, in a separate way, because whatever the bonus you will get, it will be dependent upon the profit the company makes, the profit that you generate and your own performance, right? So with that logic, yes, anybody would like to counter, please. I'm damn sure A and B are not your answers. Yeah, I couldn't relate uh, dividend and bonus. How it is related? Yes. So, what did I tell you? Ram and Shyam, they are the two guys. They invested money in the ratio of 60 to 40. Okay, they invested 100 rupees. Yeah. And they got a profit of 10 rupees. So if they got a profit of 10 rupees, how much share will be there for their profit? 6 rupees and 4 rupees? Yes, sir. So this is your dividend. Okay. 6 and 4 is the dividend for each of these two guys. 
So dividend is coming from where? It's coming out of profit only, no? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm asking the dividend and bonus. Sir. Yeah, dividend and bonus. So bonus, what is bonus? Okay. So dividend and bonus. Okay, this relationship you are asking. Right? So dividend, sorry, your bonus. One second. You are right. Bonus uh, and dividend. Yep, you are right. There won't be relation, sir. There won't be relation. Absolutely, there won't be relation. So, this is your profit. Profit will be the entire whole, and dividend will be one part of it, and bonus will be another part of it. Right, guys. Yes, yeah. Option C, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Very valid observation. Thank you so much. So what I was thinking was that your performance, basically, okay, your performance, basically, I thought that your dividend, Ram's or Shyam's dividend, this six and four, is also going to influence their bonus, but that's not the case, okay. Their dividend will be on the basis of their investment. And bonus will be on the basis of their performance and their performance plus the health of the company and not how much of dividend the other people have got. Right, guys? So we'll go ahead with C and not A. Right? Thank you so much. Shall we move, guys? Yes, sir. Cool. Yes. Instrumentalist and violinist are the are this are these two same or different? Just trying to check. Player of a musical instrument, okay. Player of a musical instrument, okay. So I think D should be the answer in that case. This is the musician. This is your instrumentalist, uh, mentalist, okay. I, and this will be your, particularly your, the one who plays violin, okay. Right, because musician can also be singer, which do not really deal with the instruments. Okay, and they can also be musicians, can also be, you know, vocalists. So they don't work with instruments. So that's why they will be here in this position. Guys. Anybody would like to counter this? Yes, guys. What do you think about this? Quick, guys, quick. Yes, guys. All musicians are not your instrumentalist, men mentalist. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Because those musicians, it's not mandatory for them to work with instruments only. Is it mandatory? Is it mandatory, guys? 
No, it's not mandatory. What did I say you? There will be singers. My friend is a classical singer. He doesn't have any apparatus with him. So it will come over here now in this position. Right, guys? And all the instrumentalist, mentalist, whether over, over here, they are, they, whether they play violin, whether they play guitar, whether they play sitar, whether they play flute, whether they play tabla, harmonium, or whatsoever is the musical instrument is there. So with this logic, we'll go with D as your answer. Anybody, anybody would like to contest this? Guys, shall we move? Yes. Yeah. yes, teacher, poet, and graduate. I think sixty six is B. Mm -hmm. Option? B, sir. B or D? B, sir. B. Yeah. A teacher can be poet. He might be doing some poetry in some his free time. Right? Sir, but, but a teacher must be a graduate, right, sir? So all the no. teachers should be... Graduate. No, 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 no. Yeah. See, I mean, that, that's where uh, things get little clumsy, okay? If you think, if you wish to think as teacher, as teacher only, and not poet, so obviously teacher and poet will be like this. Okay. But if you think there's a teacher, there's a teacher who also does a little bit of poetry in his free time. So you will have to think it like this. But there's a very small number of teachers who also function as poet, okay, which is the case in actual life. Okay. But these two, a teacher and a poet, it's a full-time profession. When you do it in a full-time profession, it has to be, you know, separated from other profession as well. So what I feel that these two things will be completely disjointed. Okay. Teacher and poet. And can be graduate. They can be graduate. They can be graduate and they, they need not be graduate either. Right. Okay. Teachers need not be graduate. Okay. Even if you are, let's say, somebody has just passed 10th standard, 12th standard. Okay. They can be a teacher. Yeah. I mean, as long as they teach good. Right? Yes, sir. So I think we should go with A. What do you guys think? Please let me know. What do you guys think? Initially, I was thinking to go ahead with B. But then now I've changed my mind that no. Teacher and poet, these two are two separate profession and it should be thought separately. Right, guys. The poet is like, is it a like profession, sir? Like, teacher that yes. teaches to others, but poet, they write poems. A teacher also yeah. can write a poem. A teacher can also write a poem, of course, an English teacher can write a poem. Graduate also can write a poem, also. All the three, a graduate who is a teacher can also write a poem. So, yes, yes, yes. yes. But me and you writing a poem won't make us a poet. Right. A poet is who? Who is that poet? I mean, in North India. Ravish Kumar. No, not Ravish Kumar. There's a, there's a chap, no? He also does a little bit of, you know, anchoring and all. He's a very good chap in media, yeah. Okay. Who 
whom will you say a poet? Rabindranath Tagore. Or me. I've also written a little bit of poetry. Or my friends. They have also written Kazal. Yeah, I will not take it. Yeah. Or the people, those who have written Tirukkural. Okay. Tulsi Das. Prem Chand. These chaps were Tulsi Das basically wrote Ramayana or Mahabharata. Find it out, guys. Okay. I forgot. Prem Chand used to write short stories mainly, but little bit of uh, poems and verses as well. Kali Das. Okay. Ravi Das. If you read about Bhakti movement, you will learn a little bit. Bhakti movement. It's a very interesting topic. Very, very, very interesting topic. In northern side of India. You know, those were the times. I mean, very, very bad at all the drawings. So sorry about that, guys. And I'm so sleepy also. So in the northern part of India, let's draw it something like this. Okay, this is the India. Okay. This, this. In 17-1800s. Okay. Let's listen to some story. So much of work. Yeah. All these Muslim rulers came. Okay. And all these Muslim rulers, they were, uh, you know, converting and they were, uh, you know, instilling their own rules and regulations in this mainland, okay? And there were a lot of atrocities during those times, okay? Uh, you know, so much of atrocities which ever happens, okay? You know, so... To counter those, okay, you cannot, you cannot go and say to the ruler that, hey, bloody, you are, you are doing it wrong. Come on. How can you do that? Uh, they will hang you in public. Okay. You cannot go and oppose them. Okay. Or they will just take out their sword and kill you then and there itself. Nobody will ask anything to you. So that's how it used to happen. So to talk against all this, there were people, people like, Tulsi Das, uh, they were like like people in in, Bhakti, in, in this Bhakti movement, there, there were a lot, lot of people, Ravi Das. I'm not quite sure about these names. You please check it on your front. Please consult some books or uh, open sources. So these people were the ones, you know, those who were talking about both, Kiyab, all your Allah and Bhagwan, God, and all, all these are completely, you know, man-made concept. Okay. Why are we fighting in these names? Okay. Trying to persuade the people. Why is there a lot of, you know, atrocities in all these names? So that was a very beautiful time in, in Indian history. Okay. You should, guys should read about it. Something like, you know, in Western history, when you if you have ever studied about Renaissance, okay, or if you have ever heard of it, okay, people say that it brought a lot of fundamental changes in Europe. So, this Bhakti movement was also a kind of bringing, it was a kind of, you know, with the medium of poetry, with the medium of writing, with the medium of language, they were trying to help the public, okay. Because whenever you are in a very dark situation, uh, you know, you need something comforting. And uh, those verses, those poems of all those great people used to be the comforting ideas of that point of time. Right, guys? So please read about this. I'm very close to my heart. If you ever go on to write, you know, UPSC paper, uh, you might expect 
some questions there. Okay. Or in your CDS GS also, you might expect, not guaranteed, but yeah, Bhakti moment, they have asked questions in GS specifically. <laughs> Yes, 67. Teachers and authors. We will think of these two things as separate professions. Okay. If teacher has written a book in quantitative ability, we will not assume him as both teacher and author. Okay. Option B, sir. B, sir. Yep. B. Anybody else apart from Shruti and uh, Rajesh and uh, Aritha? Yes, James, you want to speak something, buddy? Okay. Let me mute him. One moment. Okay. Yes, so teachers, men, men are over here. This is your author and this is your teacher. Okay. Your teacher and author, there cannot be a consonance between these two, right? These two needs to be different and all men cannot be teacher and authors. Teachers and author can be females as well, right guys? So we'll go ahead with option B. Right. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes. Quick, guys, quick. We slow down. Quick. Among living being, human and animal. Living being, human, sorry, animal and then human, animal and human, okay. Had there been this option, we would have selected this one, but this is not the answer. We as human beings are also animals, guys. Isn't it? Are we not animals? Social animals. We, we are social animals. Right. So, living beings, animals, and human beings okay so which option should we choose guys which option should we choose option c yeah option c yeah don't feel bad about this revelation that uh, human beings are also animals come on it's a very old fact that's why you guys are also required okay the logic behind military is not offense. It's defense. Okay. Keep that in mind. We won't start it, but if required, we won't leave it either. Okay? That's the case. Like, we don't go and, and, and start reading somebody's home or somebody's places to, you know, capture their land, their homes. But if somebody comes to our place, we got to drive them away, no? Right. Okay, shall we move, guys? Yes. Football lovers, cricket players, and students. I think it, 
Yeah, this one, I think it should be undisputed D. Because a football lover can also be a cricket player and also a student. A student can be a cricket player. Over here, again, you will not, you will ask me, sir, should we think in terms of Kohli or Dhoni? Uh, let's just write Dhoni, okay? Or no. You guys are Dhoni supporters. I mean, I'm also. <clears throat> shall we think in that terms or shall we think in Amarnath not Joginder or Mohinder Amarnath the Amarnath our chap in the class playing gully cricket Okay, the top track over here, the entire question, okay, they're talking about football lovers. Who will be all these football lovers? There'll be normal common citizens like us <coughs> right now. And who will be the students? Normal common citizens like us. So suddenly, if they... Think logically, if they talk about an international player, will it make sense? Will it make sense? No, no. Like, I'm just writing 10, 12, 15, and suddenly you will you will write 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh, 20,230, something like this. This is an anomalous behavior over here, right? So writing 10, 12, 15, then at max you will write 50, 80, 100, I mean, I'm, I was trying to understand what I mean to say. Right, guys? So we'll have to, when they have written cricket player, we'll have to assume Amarnath or James or Rajesh Khanna. Or if you guys or ladies play cricket, you guys also, yeah. Or whatever games you play. Right. So in this case, it will be your football lovers. They can be your cricket players and as well as students. And there's a clear relationship between all three of these elements. Right, guys? Guys. Do you want to contest it? Shoot your arguments. Shall we move? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Medicine, male and surgeon. C, sir. C. D, sir. Okay. Let's see what about that. C. It looks little dicey, though. C, D. Anybody with A and B? There is some relationship between medicine and surgeon for sure. Okay. Yes. After A, sir. I think so. Okay, anybody it with C? It my mind, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. Anybody with A? He cannot keep this set as either medicine or male or surgeon because not all medicine will be men, not all surgeon will be male, and not all male will be surgeon or not all male will be medicine. So B is definitely not our answer. That's for sure. Well, let's check out B. B is not the answer. Let's try and establish a few more 
a little bit more of relationship. Medicine and maid. Medicine and maid. Medicine and maid. <coughs> Sorry. One second, guys. One second, guys. Just give me a moment, huh? Yes. All A, C, D, all, all these three looks good to me, but we'll have to narrow down to at least one of these options. <clears throat> Clearly, medicine doesn't seem to have any, you know, relationship between male, but medicine seems to have some relationship with surgeon or surgeon will have, if you put surgeon over here, it will be related to medicine, little bit of medicine, little bit of, you know, the surgery. And this surgeon can be male as well. Okay, fine. So far, so good. Surgeon, male. Surgeon, medicine. That means the surgeon has to be related, right? So with that logic, we can check out C as well. Right. Over here, look guys, one more thing I wanted to mention. Whenever there is something like this, okay, it means that let's say, let us say India, and let's say TN, okay. Okay, so it essentially means that all TN is inside India. I mean, that's logically and 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 that's that's that that is that is the fact. Okay, is in India is in India, but wherever we come across this, in this case it was pretty much obvious. Okay, wherever we come across these sort of questions, wherein the elements over here are not that jointed, okay? It doesn't seem to have that clear-cut idea. Like if I say you, sun rises in the east, will you tell me, no, sir, come on, sun rises in the west, what are you saying? Okay. But if I say from Varanasi to Chennai, the distance is somewhere around 2,000 kilometers, then you can come and say, no, no, sir, it's somewhere around no, 2,500 kilometers, no, 1,700 kilometers. Right, you, you will pick up the Google map and try to convince me, correct me. Okay. Right. So in this second argument that I have made, I cannot say it for sure. Okay. And if I cannot say it for sure, we should not use these arguments like this, like on complete. Okay, these are all very weight. These, these words have got a lot of weight in them, right? But if we use this little bit of jointed, a little bit of disjointed ones, it caters to the little bit of relation that we have in the argument and at the same time, the differences that we have in the argument. Right, guys? 
Did you follow what I said? Did you follow what I said? Yes, sir. Whenever, whenever we write it, something like this, we are talking something concrete. Okay. But by writing it this way, we are we are not only acknowledging the relationship, but also leaving space, leaving room for the disjointedness as well. Right. We acknowledge that male can have surgeon can have relationship with medicine and surgeon a majority of the surgeons are male except if it is you know uh, gyno or uh, obs right and for that matter gyno and obs are males too so surgeon over here but over here using this one two concentric circle it's like it's like you are using a very strong argument. Just feel the weight of it. Okay. Sir. Yes. Sir, in this we can say that every surgeon will definitely have a medicine. Every surgeon will definitely be related to medicine. Yes, that, that is also one of the argument. Then we can say that uh, both the surge, um, that male will take medicines and sur surgeon will have a medicine, sir. So that the option D will be more appropriate, right? I'm, I'm not, I'm honestly, Shruti, not convinced, convinced with why male and medicine should be related. Even if we accept that even if we accept that the entire medicine should lie with surgeon. The problem, there is another one problem, Shruti. Okay, I, 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 there is, there is no, you know, flaw in your logic. Okay, but we'll have to go with the thought process with which this question paper was set. Okay, so yes, this, is medicine in your opinion, and this is surgeon. Yes, that's good. Okay, it's kind of similar, but it's not absolutely similar because surgeon will be performing surgery. Okay, sir. Yeah. So still, there is a good chance for this this option to be correct, but I would go with A. Right. I would go with A. But this logic is also not wrong. This is your, uh, this is your surgeon. And uh, this is the medicine, right? And a few of the in medicine, a few of the medicine men will be related. Okay. And a few of the surgeon, this will be there. Okay. So and also, have a doubt, sir. Yes, and also, yeah, before you ask your doubt, I also just wanted to mention that all these questions, this, many of these questions are memory-based questions, okay? Okay. Many of these are memory-based questions, so it could happen that we might not be dealing with actual true question paper, okay? There could be like male doctor, something like that. There could be. We don't know. So, yes, what's your doubt, buddy? Yeah. So, like, uh, we have two logics are correct in this question, sir. Yes. So, is there any possible that, like, two answers will be there? Whatever the answer we choose, it, it, if it lies in any of one of, any of uh, both options, it, they will give a mark or uh, only one correct option will be there? In so, if it is, exam, sir. yeah, if it is completely undisputed, if it is completely undisputed, okay, there is no dispute. Okay. Plus three minus one for each of the questions. Okay. But you can also challenge them. Okay. Challenge them when they come up with answer key. They don't usually come up with answer key. They simply come up with the results. Okay. So you don't have much of an option there. And uh, they don't usually give you this sort of dicey questions except for one and two. And you will have to 
pray to the God that these questions get correct for you. Right. Yes. You will have to match the thought process of uh, the, the people those who have said this question paper. I believe, yes, you can challenge it. But I don't think it really helps. OK. Yes. Yeah, you can probably go and write them. Hey, look, some comments are question number 74. What the hell you have given? So this logic is also correct. This logic is also correct. OK. And how many of and, and and for every question they would have got dispute. Right. Yes, so whose logic they should accept? Yeah. So over here things become really subjective. Really, really subjective over here. Okay. With what mindset the question paper has set this question. Okay. What did he thought? And as I mentioned to you, we are dealing with memory based question paper. It could be the case that the premises that we have is not complete. Okay. Same. Because it's an online examination. And uh, they will come and do it like this. Okay. Right, guys. So let's call it a day for today. Okay. Yes, sir. Rest, rest of the ones to practice. Okay. And if you have any doubt, we'll discuss it this way. We'll try to eliminate. Okay. I'm as good as you are. Okay. And in this, we can only be as good as you are. Okay. And there is nothing to study, nothing to uh, learn. It's only that uh, we satisfy our logic. You know, uh, we we follow the logic uh, enough so that we are convinced that okay, fine, this is the answer. That's why we have we are we don't keep even answers over here so that we can facilitate discussion, so that we can we are able to think about this question how exactly we should think about it, right, guys? So tomorrow we'll come up with a new concept. Okay, let's see which one do we come up with. Most probably non-verbal itself. Or three, four days we'll run a little bit of non-verbal, and then we'll go go to the verbal ones. For some 10, 12 days, we'll study this uh, concept wise, so as to make you guys familiar with what exactly they they ask. And uh, post that we take on uh, the previous year question paper all over again, and uh, for, you know the mock test, your sectional test, whatever whatever comes into the picture, you just keep on crashing and moving, right? Okay. So guys, thank you so much for joining. Have a great day ahead, and I have uh, got some mentorship schedules, so. Whenever, wherever your slots come into picture, please book and uh, come and speak to me. We will we'll find some way out. Right? Bye bye. Have a great day. Bye bye. Jai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.